almost like heads to first base. He's like, yeah. oh, you should have seen me. I leaned in so far ahead, they couldn't miss me. <laughs> He's like, try. He goes, Lear, here's the ball. I'll go over there. Oh, yeah, when just, Diane just, takes him. Just try and miss me. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Oh, uh, okay. ready? Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay, time you're ready. <clears throat> Roll it. After what seems like years of contract negotiations, today the town's police force are meeting with their union representatives one last time. Since President Clinton's administration took office in November, it's implemented its top nationwide security systems to watch everything from its citizens to its ports. Jobs on the decline, crime and homelessness on the rise, and now the church has ordered more work hours as well as cut benefits to its manpower, this on top of an already stressed and strained force. Breaking news, the police will go on strike. Starting at sundown, all usual services, such as 911 calls, will not be in operation until sunrise the next day. In preparation, people have started closing their stores early after reports came out of widespread looting across the county. Some people have even abandoned their cars and headed out of the city on foot for fear of tonight's strike. Finally, as a precaution, top government, church, and state officials have recently been moved to an undisclosed location for their own protection. <laughs>